So last week on Safi's Sprocket, I decided to try my hand at doing my own motorcycle mechanics for the first time ever. Somehow I don't think that's safe. <laughs> I feel so cool right now. honest with you guys it's not going well <laughs> i went out and made another purchase it is this thing it was cheaper to buy four liters of swafega than it was to buy 500 milliliters so obviously i bought the four liters it's huge this tub is like look at the size of this thing like ugh, so heavy so this is gonna live in my kitchen forever now <laughs> I think when I finally empty one of my hand washers, I'll probably fill it up and then I can put that one under the sink. <laughs> I also ended up purchasing some disposable gloves as well. Um, I had to order these online because it was surprisingly difficult to find some that were in a small size, but they had them on Amazon. So I ended up buying some, some small sized gloves so that they actually fit and I can actually grip on stuff. Um, and I went for black, because they just looked cool, I'll be honest. <laughs> and they said that the mechanics wear black gloves, so I just assumed that that was a thing. So yes, here we go. Some cleaning supplies and some gloves. So hopefully I look less of a ragamuffin after I've been working on my bike. So last week I spent five days trying to reset my caliper and I finally decided to use a lifeline and phone a friend. Well, I actually phoned five friends who all told me to just keep cleaning and pushing. I then spent a further three days and two cans of cleaner with absolutely no luck. Eventually I gave up and accepted help. After removing the piston from the caliper, we discovered that actually the piston doesn't sit flush at all. I'd wasted over a week bamboozled by trying to reset my caliper, not realizing that it was actually already reset. So we then spent the next half an hour reassembling the caliper. Now, because we disconnected a lot of stuff, we ended up having to bleed the brakes as well. So we just got home from work. I look a little chaotic. Um, it's been a long day, I'm not gonna lie. There's probably no chance I'm gonna be working on my mic tonight because I am exhausted. I'm literally gonna walk upstairs and just go to bed, like, uh, not today. However, however, parcel number one million arrived. <laughs> so what's in the parcel, I hear, you, I hear you ask? Well, I purchased... They decided... Well, they decided to label it a spreader tool for uh, separating brake pads because one of the issues that I was facing was that I just wasn't physically strong enough to push the piston back into my caliper. So I made the decision to invest in a tool to do this. Now I've already replaced my brake pads, so that's not an issue. The issue's already been resolved. However, because I needed someone's help for this, I decided to purchase a tool for the future so that when I do want to replace my brakes again, I can do this completely self-sufficiently and not require any help from anyone, which would just mean I get things done a lot quicker. I also ended up purchasing a, um, a measurement tool. I'm very keen on, you know, the idea of being self-sufficient and doing everything by myself. Um, and just, you know, general maintenance in the future. So I decided to invest in these two tools. So I don't think that's a bad shout. Now that I'm aware of what I need to do, making sure I have the tools to get it done, because I'm starting to realize there is an element of physical strength when it comes to mechanics that I unfortunately do not possess. So these nice items will help me. <laughs> in the areas where uh, I'm clearly not eating enough spinach. So, 
I'm so tired. I was given one piece of advice from a friend, which was when it comes to an oil change, you can never have enough blue roll.
Now folks, I'm gonna be completely honest. When it came to reassembling the back wheel on my bike, I forgot to put my rear fender back on. I didn't wanna disconnect everything, so I decided to take a lazy away. A blunder. <laughs> I opened up one of the packages and um, the the tool I bought for my brake discs in order to be able to do them in the future. I accidentally bought a car one. It's huge. I can't do anything with this. <laughs> oh, I could ship it back. I could ship it back to be fair. Um, but I'm currently working on my car license. Um, because after I had to take my bike off the road for ages to do all of this DIY stuff, I wasn't like able to like travel anywhere. It's been an absolute nightmare, I'm not gonna lie. So I, I am working on my um, car license at the moment, which is very exciting, but I suppose I could use it for, for that. But um, I should have known really, because the description said it was compatible with Aldi cars, so. <laughs> So I also ended up purchasing some hook adapters for my rear paddock stand. I'll be honest, I thought these would be included when I ordered the paddock stands because these are the ones I've always used before on the rear of my bike. A um, little bit of false economy that they weren't in the box because then I ended up having to pay an extra £10 for them, which is just really annoying, really annoying. But I suppose I have them now, so. And then I did also purchase one more thing. Um, I'll be honest, I don't want the DIY to stop. I'm really enjoying it. I know it's like tough and difficult, but I'm like, oh, it's so much fun, um, despite the injuries. So I now purchased an air filter. So I'm gonna have a go at changing. I didn't even know if it needs changing. I was like, I could do that. Let, yeah, let's let's give that a shot. So um, don't know if I need it, but it's happening. So, <laughs> but I think. Like, the, the bike is 2017, and it's like 22, so nearly 23. I think that's a reasonable time to change an air filter, right? I think that's reasonable. I'm being completely reasonable. If anything, if anything, I'm being more than reasonable because I'm ensuring my safety on the road. That's how I'm gonna justify it to myself. <laughs>
one is going to get new tires fitted. I'm not going to do the tires myself because I don't have the right tools to do this. And I'll be honest, I don't think I have the strength to do this either. So I'm just going to take it to the shop. But there's a few more things that I'm currently researching um, for my upcoming big trip. Because I don't... There's a, there's a few niggles about my bike that um, they're not the end of the world. But I think for the amount of distance I'm going to be doing soon... I think that um, they would be nice upgrades to have. So I'm currently looking into it. Um, whether that happens in next week's video, I don't know. It might be like two weeks away because I need to research what I want and then I need to order it and then, you know, I need to fit it and then edit the video. So I don't think this is going to be next week's video. I'll just give you the heads up on that. But it might be like two, three weeks away. Um, and I'll carry on with my little uh, mechanic project. So the next thing that I'm going to... Oh no! Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna go wash my face because now I've not got blah, engine oil on my face. So until next week, my name's Safi Sprocket. Have a good week! <laughs>